Welcome to another free tip video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Rost. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calculate the fiscal year for companies in your database that don't necessarily start on January 1st. Okay, I've got a simple table to calculate orders. I've got an order ID, a simple auto number, an order date, and an order amount. Now, in order to total up my sales properly, I need to be able to calculate the fiscal year start and end dates, assuming my company's fiscal year starts on June 1st, so 6-1. So these first couple of records up here are actually fiscal year 2012, and these guys are fiscal year 2013. So how do I calculate that? Well, let's bring up a query. Create, query design. The table I'm using is called my order table, so I'll add that to my query. I'll bring in the star field that brings in all three of these fields into the query. Now in order to calculate the fiscal year, I have to first isolate the month and year of each of the order dates. All right, we'll start off with the calendar year. So calendar year colon is the year of order date. That's called a calculated query field. I've just created a new field called calendar year and I've set it equal to whatever the year of order date is. If I run my query now, you'll see I've got the calendar year for each one of those dates, right? 2013, 2014, and so on. All right, back to design view. Now let's do the same thing for the month. Right over here, calendar month, colon is the month of order date. All right, see that? Run the query now, and I've isolated the month. All right, I'm going to hit Save, Control-S. Let's just call this FYQ, Fiscal Year Query, or whatever you want to call it. That's fine. Now, back in Design View, I'm just going to squish these up a little bit so we can see everything on the screen here. Right over here, now I have enough information to calculate my fiscal year. I'm going to use the Immediate If function. Immediate If, it takes three bits of information. First, it checks for a true-false value then the value of true, then the value of false. It's called IIF. So I'm going to create a new field called fiscal year, FY, colon, immediate if, IIF, and then what am I checking? Well, if the calendar month, the thing I just figured out a minute ago, is less than six, so if it's January through May, comma, what value do I use if that's true? Calendar, calendar year, minus one. Right? It's last year's fiscal year. Otherwise, comma, calendar year. Right? So this basically says if the calendar month is less than six, then the fiscal year is the calendar year minus one. Otherwise, it's the calendar year. All right? That's the immediate if function, IIF. I've got several different tutorials on my website available that explain if in more detail. I also cover that in my full access classes. It's essentially a function that's an if-then statement that you can use in your queries and forms directly. But now that I know how this works, when I run my query, look at that. My fiscal year is calculating correctly. Those guys are all fiscal year 2012. These guys are fiscal year 2013. See, that's correct. That's after 6-1. If I change one of these, right, let's say I change this to 530. Look at that. It's updated to 2012 already. All right, if I come back and go to 6-1 it brings it back to 2013, right? That's 2013's fiscal year, all right? That's 2011's fiscal year, all right? See how that works? So we isolate the month, we isolate the year. That's just to make it easier. You don't have to do these two steps here. You can put all this in this one big function, but then it starts getting hard to read, all right? Then we use the if function to say if it's January through May, make it calendar year minus one. Otherwise, it's the current calendar year. Now, this was just one simple fiscal year example. That's if you've got a fiscal year that starts on the first of a month. That's easy to do. I've got a longer seminar available on my website that goes into showing you how to calculate sales totals by fiscal year, where we can say add up all the 2012 totals, 2013 totals, put them together in either an aggregate query or a report with a sorting and grouping level. All right, calculate the sales totals. 
I show you how to calculate the fiscal year if it's not starting on the first of the month. What if it's 615? Some companies do that. We'll do a little tiny bit of visual basic programming and write our own custom function that you can use to plug in any month and day. And if you have to be able to calculate the fiscal year based on different companies in your database, we'll use that function so we can just send it the month and the day for the company and it automatically breaks it up based on their fiscal year. If you're an accountant or you have to track different companies in your database that all have their own different fiscal years, you can use this function to calculate that information. You can find out more information on my fiscal year seminar by looking in the description below this video window. You'll find it on my website at accesslearningzone.com. And if you have any questions, please feel free to post them here. Thanks, and we hope to see you again soon.